beauty like that with some brains to match Why wouldn't I want to tell the world about you, about you, about you Why wouldn't I want to tell the world Good evening or good afternoon everyone um, I am basically going to be doing what the title says is vlogging my life as a mom to baby KJ I know um, moms are different babies are different so everything that I do one mom might not do or some things that I do one mom might do so I'm just gonna show you guys what it's like to live my life with my baby I love him so much he's gonna be a week old on Monday I mean two weeks old on Monday and it's just like I don't even know where the time is going like I don't know the week that he like his first week just came and went and now he's about to be two weeks like I, d I love seeing him grow but then again it's like he won't be my baby forever he won't need me forever well he won't need me forever I'm his mommy but he won't he just won't need me to hold him and hold his little head and stuff like it's so sad but it's exciting he's in his little sleeper right now he's like half up half sleep whatever you want to call it um, I'm gonna go ahead and change him right now the house is clean it is 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, so yeah, it, we have been up for a while, um, but finally, ouch, everything is not so fast paced. It's going to kind of be like uncut because, you know, don't really have time to edit. It feels like he peed through his sleeper. Ooh, are you pooping? I breastfeed still and it's so much better. He actually latches on better. He's not smiling right now, but I'm thinking he's starting to like actually smirk a little bit. Say hi everyone. His face looks so fat on camera, but he's not even all that chunky. <laughs> I mean, he is gaining weight, but he's not even all that chunky. His little hat fell off. Hi, are you getting up? Are you waking up? Yeah? Are you pooping? Mm. Are you pooping? Are you hungry? He's a little bit of everything. He's still cute in this little onesie sleeper thingy. I said onesie. This little sleeper. I'm trying to get some of his little faces. When he be yawning and stretching, he's so cute. My baby don't got no eyebrows. I'm about to change him really quick and then I'll be back with you guys. See, I got my diaper changed and didn't even cry. Got a new diaper on. Now I'm about to put him back in his sleeper and then... Yeah, I'll go in the living room and update you guys on how life's been with him. <laughs> Hi, beautiful boy. I love you. I love you, pumpkin. Guys, I need to feel really bad. Don't trip though, because my birthday's coming up. Ooh, burp. David's birthday is tomorrow. My birthday is next week. Dude, just tell them what you just did. Look, there's a diaper right there. But look at this. He just peed. I, I don't know how. I did not see this. I don't know. What, I usually can tell when he's about to pee. Oh my gosh. He just peed and pooped. He made the biggest poop noise ever, you guys. So this is like one thing about my life. <laughs> he's done this a couple times. He's even peed on me. Um, but yeah, he likes to poop and pee right after I change him. It's okay though. I'm not complaining. Oh, I heard that. You're trying to push the rest of it out. <laughs> my goodness, boy, you just, I just changed you. Your diaper was drenched in pee poopy boy looks like I'm going to be changing him again and then I'll get back to you guys okay okay let's try this again take two he's all clean and stuff this other diapers over here good thing we have a diaper genie so the house don't gotta smell you and it looks like he's hungry so I'm gonna stay in here and feed him because Dubby is with friends right now and I just yeah I'm not breastfeeding in front of them <laughs> Um, but after he's done feeding, well, eat, yeah, eating, we are going to be back 
hopefully. Um, he eats like every hour on the hour, guys. He's like going to be a chunky one. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this done and over with. Okay. Oh, big yawn. He's so handsome. Okay, guys. So, he's done eating, but he might start smacking his little lips again. Um, I burped him a little bit. He always wastes my freaking milk. He'll fall asleep while eating and have milk in his mouth and then he'll be like this. And then I'll like pick him up to burp him and then he just lets it all dribble down his mouth. It's not spit up because I can tell what this, his spit up looks like. It's milk. Always wasting my milk. But it's a good thing that I have a good milk supply because I'm telling you guys, my boobs are always, always hard. <laughs> Look at him going to sleep. He's so beautiful. He's our little white boy. He's a white boy. He like took after like David's whole Mexican side. David did not have like he didn't take in after any of his Mexican side. His son did. <laughs> we have been at home chilling. We did take a, a tiny bit break from YouTube just because we were trying to get in the groove of things. Um, he loves his daddy. They do a uh, skin to skin when they can. David's always like up or playing the game. Like, you know, he's always busy. A little busy body. He usually goes to sleep around 1 or 2. He'll wake up around 5 or 6 to eat. Then he'll go back to sleep till like 9 or 10. And then he'll eat again, and then we'll take a nap till like 12. That's usually how me and his morning goes. David will get up before us. Like today he cleaned while we were taking our nap, which was from 10 to 12. And then I got up and started cleaning with him. Um, when me and David take showers, we... One of us has him, and then the other one takes a shower, and then the other one has him, and then the other one takes a shower. What else? I mean, it's pretty easy, pretty smooth going with him. He's such a good baby. He's quiet. He only cries when he needs something. So that's like when he needs to eat. He'll cry when he gets his diaper changed sometimes or when we change him, like, in clothes. But other than that, he's fine. He's starting to get his little curl pattern. It's so cute. Um, as far as cradle cap goes, I mean, obviously he's really, really young still, but... I try and massage his head uh, every day so that I can try and prevent it from being so bad. I just read it on the internet. Hopefully that works. But, yeah, I don't want him to have it bad. I want you little chunky stuff to keep your hair. He's a pretty good boy. He's quiet. A lot of people love him. He has a lot of grandparents. He has my mom. Um... My dad, Jennifer, he has David's mom, David's dad. He has endless amount of aunties and uncles. Ugh. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot trying to get everyone to get their time to spend with him. But we're going to do it. Um, the first, we just wanted like the first maybe two weeks. We were hoping for a month, but you know, um... We were hoping for a month, but two weeks is it at least enough. We just wanted to get him on a a somewhat schedule, which it's working because before he'd go to sleep at like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. One night it was like five in the morning, and then slept all the way till what eleven. But um, yeah, it's just we wanted to get him on a schedule, and we also wanted to bond with him before. We started taking him out and like going to other houses. Oh, it's just a lot. Um, we just don't want anyone to feel like we're keeping him away from anyone. Um, sadly, my mom hasn't seen him since uh, he was literally first born at the hospital. Um, it's just we were like we had visiting hours and stuff, but everything was just so like. He, when he came, everybody had like something. Well, most people had something going on, or just it was a lot. But we're still gonna get to everyone. 
He has a lot of family, guys. But it's good because he's around a lot of love. I don't really feel like, you know, he's taking up most of my day. I mean, he is my day now. But before, we would do videos all day. And then I'd sleep because I was pregnant. I'd sleep so much. It was like I didn't really do much. But now it's like he keeps, at least he keeps me on my toes. Like, I don't know. I'm glad I feel alive again. Because when I was pregnant, I was starting to feel like I was just dying. <laughs> Like, I was just not living anymore. He is my whole life. Um, I try and eat healthier, too, because it's good for the milk. I haven't eaten anything spicy since um, he's been born. <laughs> I What have I ate? I've, ate? I've eaten pizza, but I've had, like, salads. My cereals that I eat are, like, uh mini wheats i love mini wheats i love them since i was pregnant before i was pregnant but mini wheats cheerios i just started eating cheerios they're good but i eat frosted cheerios those are the only two that i eat i ate cinnamon toast crunch once but yeah i eat good cereal that's good for us it's not all that fruity stuff <laughs> i drink lots of water we have three of these guys we took these home we have three of these and then one huge one and I fill them all up with water and I drink them all throughout the day what else I still take my prenatals um I don't know I mean we're still new to this and it's still you know still fresh being parents but we love it he's so beautiful every day something new like that we learn about him maybe his hair or he's starting to smile or just he's starting to be more aware or wake up more it's just so cute he does like his sleep throughout the day and then he's up a little bit at night but it's fine <laughs> he is watching boss baby this morning it's crazy he was like paying attention to the screen because i put it on my phone and like sat it right here but he's like watching Boss Baby. Um, I don't know. He does have that little baby acne. He has two down here. And then one up here. He did have them on his nose, but they went away. Yeah, they went away. He's so sleepy. A sleepy face. He looks like me right here. <laughs> um, so some things about the postpartum. I have lost 20 pounds, probably a little bit more than that. Um, my face is still a little chunky, but it's went down so much. I like my face was swollen when I was pregnant. Um, it's went down though. My belly went down so much. Like, at the hospital, I was, like, kind of upset because, like, my stomach was, like, saggy and just, just there. But when I came home, boy, did I drop some pounds. <laughs> um, you guys know, like, I gained a lot of weight. And, I mean, I'm not ashamed of it. Pregnancy affects everyone differently. And I don't know if it's true or not, but people are like, oh, boys, we'll have you gaining weight more. But this and that. But anyway, um, I mean, I'm fine with the way I looked while I was pregnant. Now, I do it all over again just for him. He came out beautiful. He stole my beauty. <laughs> I know girls steal the beauty. But, well, that's what people say. But he really stole my beauty so he can come out beautiful. Because he's so handsome. All this boy do is sleep. You know, sometimes I get nervous and I'm, I like check his belly to see if he's sleeping or I'll like move his hand, like, you know, to try and see if he's still okay because I get nervous. But, um, I think that's most like first time parents, they do that. What else about postpartum? Um, I am starting to get a little sore from like walking and stuff and actually getting up and being active because in the hospital I wasn't I was just in my freaking room the whole time oh that was horrible I was in there for three days 
or two days. I don't know. I was in there for some days and I just felt like I was a prisoner. <laughs> but yeah, I feel a little, it's a little bit more sore from walking around and stuff. But I feel so good to not have this big old belly just weighing down on me. I feel so good. Um, I haven't really had like symptoms of postpartum depression. I'm just literally in love with our son. Um, but you know, it could still happen. I just hope it doesn't because like, I was kind of nervous that it would just because of how I am. I'm really sensitive, but mean at the same time. So it was like, I don't know if I'll get it or not. But if I do, I do want to talk to someone. David's a great person to talk to, but I just don't, I don't want to like spaz out on him or anything. And then like, I just don't want to do that. Cause he's a great father and a great boyfriend. Pregnancy cravings, I still have some, but I don't eat as much ice cream as I used to, which could be the reason why um, I gained so much weight, because I ate so much ice cream. I ate a lot of ice cream, um, but it's just not as bad. I My favorite thing to eat, one of them is brown sugar oatmeal with um, chopped up strawberries in them. Well, in it, that is so good. What else is good? Been I, I've, I've been eating pizza since I left. Well, since I'm at the hospital, they had these personal pizzas and they were so bomb. I wish I could have gotten more. Oh, we have an air fryer and that makes everything like that makes cooking a lot easier for us. I'm gonna make some air fried chicken wings and French fries. It is so bomb. It's less greasy, especially the fries. You would not even believe. Like we squeezed the we because we tried it before. Um, Actually, before he was born. Yeah. Before he was born, um, we tried the air fryer. And we squeezed, like, a french fry to see, like, we would see any grease. And it was a little bit. But, boy, I am telling you, if we would have fried, I mean, uh, put the fries in grease, would have been super duper greasy. And it just tastes fresh. It tastes really good. So, the air fryer is a big help. Um... David, when he grills, it is so good. I can't wait till he will grill again. But I'm making air fried chicken tonight. Because, yeah, I just am. We're going to have lemon pepper chicken and fries and a drink. <laughs> some juice or some water, but that's all we're eating. Um, David usually goes to sleep before me. It's always sleeping before us. But that's because we take naps and then we're just like up at night. Me and him. But that's okay. Um, what else? Your daddy's birthday is tomorrow. We're turning 20 this month. My birthday is next week. David's birthday is tomorrow. Can't believe we're turning 20, y'all. We can't wait to be back on our grind with these videos, though. I think we just had to take a little break to get used to him, but I feel energized. I, I don't know why people are like, you're going to lose so much sleep. Like, I mean, yeah, I have to wait for him to go to sleep at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. But I didn't go to sleep till like 4, like when I was pregnant. I'd wake up at 8 or 9. So it's like, I actually get more sleep with him. <laughs> we take naps from like 10 to 12. Like, this is how our schedule goes. He'll wake up around 6 eat then go right back to sleep wake up at nine nine to ten and then we take a nap for an hour and a half two hours and then i'm usually up during the day cleaning cooking or whatever or just watching him sleep but he sleeps during the day so i have time to do whatever i need to do and then at night i mean he he'll start getting all antsy and stuff around I'd say 9 or 10, even 11, he'll start waking up some. But then he goes to sleep around 1, 2, and then it go, like it just starts all over again. He wakes up in between his little naps to eat, but it's a pretty, like, we're in a, we're getting a pretty good schedule because before he'd go to sleep like 4, 3, 4, 5. That's what his schedule was, but he's super good now. 
Um, when he does start to like get out of this schedule and start waking up more, I'm going to try and keep him up during the day. It's hard now because he will literally like after I try and like keep him up and like play with him, get him up a little bit, he'll like go right back to sleep. But when he's able to like, you know, stay up, I'm going to definitely keep him up during the day so he sleeps during the night. <clears throat> what else? I don't know. I feel like I'm just talking too much. But I'm just letting you guys know. Like this is literally what he does all day. Is sleep. And then eat. And then sleep. And then poop and pee. But this is all he does. He's such a good boy. He's so sweet. He's changed so much. I'd be so sad waking him up sometimes. But. Let's see. You still sleeping? Hmm? <laughs> okay. He like lays on my belly too. Um, cause I, I still have a stomach but it's really low but he likes to like lay on it. But we do have some videos coming up. We're gonna be doing a night and morning routine with him. We're going to be doing... Me and Debbie will both separately react to the birth vlog. You guys, when he posted it, I cried. I was like, he's never going to be, like, I'm never going to go through that same exact situation ever again because he's our first child. We don't ever get to have another first child. And, like, he's our first boy. So, like, it's just, it's so emotional. And I cried. I was like, I did a good job. <laughs> but we're both going to react to it. And then also share our experience because we had two totally different experiences. Obviously, I was the one pregnant. He was the one just, you know, he was my support system. Um, my, yeah, my support system my whole pregnancy. But he was like the supporter there. <laughs> That's what they called him, a supporter um, at the hospital. But we both have two totally different experiences. And... We're just going to share it. But since he's sleeping, I'm just going to upload this unless he does something different, I guess. He just sleeps, y'all. I can't wait for him to start waking up. <laughs> but another thing, I cannot wait until these six weeks are up so I can start working out and stuff. Because your girl needs it. I'm ready to get back in shape. I'm ready to be looking like a hot mom and not like no regular just mom I need to be a hot mom hot mama Ugh. anyway thanks for coming to see nothing <laughs> um we love you guys so much I'm not pregnant anymore this is my twin is he my twin he has no eyebrows like his daddy. Hey. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm looking at the screen, sorry y'all. He's not gonna wake up. <laughs> That's how I'm saying, like, I can move him and stuff and he just won't wake up. Okay, well, we're gone. Say bye, baby KJ. Say bye, guys. <sighs> Be looking out for these upcoming videos. Thanks so much for being on this journey with us and being patient with us. Yeah, more videos to come, and they're about to get lit, okay? Okay.